that was a close one. Well, good morning, everybody. It's been a while since I posted a video. I've got uh, some hay to stack and uh, 15 bells to deliver. So, also, I want to show you guys my new rig. It's a 2006 F450. It already it's already got a flatbed on it. A nice, wide, big flatbed, especially compared to my old one. Well, I got rid of my 2011 one-ton single-wheel pickup, the one I built a flatbed for. I'm sure a lot of you are following the channel that, because of that build. Uh, however, I'm consistently hauling around 17,000 pounds, including the trailer, when I've got 15 round bales on it, or when I've got the tractor and the round baler on it. Uh, that single-wheel, one-ton one -ton truck, was struggling uh, I was really putting uh, putting the load on it so it had a, a 355 rear end and there's a few times where uh, I rolled through stop, uh, stop lines because I couldn't get the truck stopped in time and it was just it was just a lot of weight for the pickup so I'm gonna uh, get out to this hay field and I've got hay to stack I got second cutting done last week made 71 bells on this 40 acres this is the field that I made 291 bales or 293 bales on first cutting. And then I've got 15 bales to load up and deliver as well. Got it parked in the shade over the weekend. Well, this is why you keep your top link on. I went off and forgot my top link. I brought my dual uh, hay spear to move all these round bells, but I don't have my top link. Son of a gun. Let me see if I can borrow the one off this temporarily. This is the landowner's tractor. And uh, he's a real good guy. We share crop this place 50 50. He buys chemicals. I do all the work. So I'm going to borrow his top link real quick and see if I can get this to work. All right. Got some John Deere on the New Holland. Uh, the trailer hooked up because I'm either moving out 15 round bells today or I'm hauling the tractor back to the house and I'm doing the round bells tomorrow. I gotta call the customer shortly and find out. But here is the, the hay patch for the hay field. Windows are dirty, but this is the one. This is the field that made 291 bells to the acre or to the acre. <laughs> Eight bells to the acre, a total of 291 round bells, which is quite a bit for this area on non-irrigated farmland. But uh, second cutting here made 71, which is not quite two bells to the acre, which isn't all that great. However, the rain stopped in June, and it's it's October, it's the end of September, and uh, everything just dried out quickly. But I'm using the. Uh, 
the bell tough uh, net wrap and uh, in this New Holland baler and you got to have a sharp knife to cut this wrap this wrap is pretty tough so uh, but it's cool it's got the Texas flag colors I don't know if you can see them red white and blue it's pretty neat it separates the Vermeer wrap that's first cutting and this is second cutting so it's easy to know which uh, bells are what as far as first and second cutting but let me start getting this hay stacked up see if I can put you guys somewhere where y'all can watch spear that I put on and uh, I try not to let the bells touch either so that I can just back up stack them and not have to move them twice and you'll see what I'm talking about but uh, I, built, I built this dual three-point hay spear in one of my videos so if you missed that one and you want to build one yourself go check it out automatic switch comes in handy. I just use this to raise and lower it. Now I don't have my drone. I think a drone a drone camera angle would be pretty cool to capture putting up hay. a difference for uh, hay spoilage on the bottom. It works great. There's almost no spoilage because it doesn't let any water sit in the bells. this net wrap I don't tarp the hay anymore because it uh, helps shed water and sunlight so um, but when I stack them I'm gonna clean these up but I leave at least six inches of gap so that the bells don't touch where water can settle and mold
there's 15 round bells on a 20 foot plus five gooseneck trailer. When I say plus five, this back here is five foot. And uh, assuming these things are around 800 pounds, that's uh, 12,000 pounds of load plus between four and 5,000 pounds for that trailer. So I'm pushing between 16 and 17,000. The manual for that round baler says it'll make a thousand pound dry round bale. So if these things are a thousand pounds, then I've got 15,000 pounds plus four or 5,000 pounds of trailer weight. So you can see why a one ton single wheel truck would get worn out pretty quick moving this much hay. And this row back here, I'm down to like 60 bales. That was 290 bales stacked all back here and where the second cutting is all that was full of hay and you can see how much hay i've moved before i got this 450 so uh i gotta take this tractor back and park it so uh this hay is going to a town outside of kingland kingsland texas which is about 20 25 minutes from here so i'm gonna get this hay dropped off and uh in the video so th thanks for watching I've got a uh, new hay ground that I'm opening up. I'm actually in the process of recording it. So stay tuned for some more videos. And uh, it's been a while since I made one, but uh, thanks for subscribing and thanks for following the channel.